What is up everybody, it's Jason Hodzik here and today we're going to be showing you how to do an oil change on your F32 155. It's pretty much universal with everything, uh, BMW, relatively simple. I'm going to cut to what tools we need in a second. So this is all you're going to need, I'm going to put the parts in the description below. All we need is, uh, we're running Liquid Molly 5W40, synthetic of course, because you can only really run synthetic in these cars. We got like a kind of like a universal uh, oil filter pliers, we got our filter, drainage drainage pan, our ratchet set, we got our jack over there. And the thing is, we have more running a little bit of a problem here because uh, we're a little too low, so we put these weights in the front wheel so we can raise the car up. So we're gonna raise the car up and then get the hood open and get started. Um, pretty much with this, it really depends on your drain bolt. You might not even need this. So it really depends on what your drain bolt specific is. And also, I don't have any under panel protection on this car right now, but your under panel is gonna actually have a little section where I think it's like um, a 10. And you just whoop, open up, little flap opens, boom, you got your drain plug there, and that's it. And then get it up in the air, so let's do it. Let's just pretend that that's safe. Now we're gonna open the hood up. Now let's get to work. Let's make sure we're clear, we're clear over there. And this boy up right here. Boom. I'm gonna open this tool real quick and then get back to it because this we're gonna need for there. And then luckily for us, we also have gloves. So yeah, I'm gonna put these gloves on, open up this tool and continue with the process. Almost forgot, one thing that will definitely help you out is a funnel. You do not want to be making a mess. So we got our tool out here. And now pretty much clamp it down and all right, hold up. I gotta set you down so I can uh strong man the fuck out of this one. Five minutes later. <clears throat> Fifteen minutes later. So scratch that. This tool got it up, pet boys. Fucking sucks. I gotta go get another tool. And that's kinda annoying. We're finally back in what feels like forever. We got this new one. Um, thing is, I didn't like wasting money on this. I could have just made this at the house myself. I could have made a whole video on it. But no. Let me know if you'd wanna see that as a video. I can definitely make that happen. Put it in the comment section below. But for now, uh, we're gonna try with this. Here we got the oil filter, and our new oil filter comes with a new washer that goes there, and a new washer that goes there. And on top of that, it comes with the washer for the bolt. And shout out to this, because I didn't even know I had like a little net thing going on over here. This net thing's gonna come in clutch, because when it starts draining and that bolt goes flying, we're not gonna lose the bolt, which is great. So the washer out, be as soft as possible. We do not want to break anything. Now we got both the gaskets done. That's over. I just dropped the gasket in the thing. Let's take out this oil filter. Now we gotta get under the car. Fun times. Okay, so now that we're under here, um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't have a lot of space. So I'm gonna use my phone for like this little section for the most part. But we're looking at a 17 millimeter drain bolt. So you can kind of see it right there. There's our drainage bolt. We got no washer on it. It, it does look a little expired. Who's ready for the money shot? Who's ready for the money shot? Oh, there we go. Oh, let's get out of here and cut to the chase. Up, uh, all right, so lucky for us, it didn't take five minutes, five, 10 minutes, because we're running low on oil anyway. So when you're running low on oil anyway, it makes it a little quicker and a little easier. So I just checked on it. We're almost done. Uh, we're gonna go pretty much reassemble this oil filter. I gotta find where I put that other one right here. Let me grab that, boom. We gotta clean this up first. We don't wanna douse it in old oil, mixed oil, mixed solution. We don't want any of that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. We got some paper towels. Just grab some paper towels. That's really all you need. And let's not forget to clean out the inside of the oil filter uh, housing just because it is good practice to clean out both when doing an oil change. So clean this together. So let's focus in the middle. Boom. I said, got an oil filter, and we got our gaskets and extra washer in there for when we put it on the bolt. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. There's only really one slot you can put it on, so let's just get that over it. Just shove that in there. Dang. 
good. That last little gasket on over here, boom, at the top. We just got it on there with our fingies. Now that's on there, it's looking good. It's not disrupted, it's not cracked, I don't know if you can tell, boom. It's looking good. So now our oil filter set up. We still got a little, a little bit more uh, draining over there. Now it's just a waiting game. So I'll see you probably, like I said, five, 10 minutes. It's almost done. See you on the second. I can't do that because they're covered in oil. <laughs> still another bit. What's up? So we're back. Um, I got a little ahead of myself here. All I really did was just put the funnel where you put the oil. Uh, the oil is done draining. So we're gonna get back under the car, pretty much close it up, put the washer on, come back out here, reinstall the oil filter, close it up, pour the oil in, reset the computer. The computer didn't go off because the car is tuned. So we do oil changes around 2.5K, 3K. This car has had the same oil in it since it went in the shop. We're talking about this oil has probably been in this car for like 10 months. So we're gonna be a little careful. We wanna get ahead of everything. So yeah, we're back under here now. We're gonna get a little, sorry the focus is a little crazy right now. So we got a little washer out this bag. We don't have a lot, oh. And I just dropped it. I just dropped it and I can't see it. No oh, shit, no problem. Many hours later. Found it. Oh. See, so we got a little washer. So now we're gonna get the drain plug back in. I'm gonna go get another paper towel, wipe this down a little bit, clean it up, and then get back to it. These specific towels, paper towels you wanna use, these ones, I'm gonna reiterate on it, like I said earlier, you're worried about the fibers. The fi fibers are too fine in these paper towels, so you do run the risk of getting fibers in your oil, which would be a very bad thing to have happen. Risking it all for the biscuit. I'm sorry, hate me later. So now we're gonna get the bolt back on. Fucking get the bolt out of this thing. You do not want to over torque this down. Obviously you want to use a torque wrench. Right now I'm just using a regular regular wrench until I can't really go anymore. I don't want to force it past this point. Um, I probably could do a little bit more, but I'm going to restrip in the bolt and I already got it on very tightly and snug. So we're going to leave it at that. Now we're up and out of it. We can uh, close up this oil filter and start pouring the oil back in. I think we can take the gloves off from here because now we have our funnel. So now we don't really have to worry about getting oil everywhere. So now we got our oil filter back on and now I want to proceed with pouring in about seven liters of this uh, WD-40 paper molly. So let's get to pouring in this oil. How do you tell me I need an oil change without telling me I need an oil change? Look at the color of that oil, right? And if you look behind me, look at the floor, look at the color of that oil. That was the oil in the car. So you can tell we needed this oil change. <laughs> Thank God. And boom, seven liters later, put our oil cap back on, clicks back into place, close the hood, and now we're ready to go. Got it out, boom, weights on the side there. Car's on the ground. It sounds so much better when you start it with fresh oil versus before with not so fresh, moldy-esque, really black oil when your oil is kind of like an orangey, amberish color. So that's a very important fact to remember when uh, maintaining your car, you can tell a lot by just looking at the oil. No uh, metal shavings in my oil rod bearings should still be holding up. And yeah, still gotta reset the computer. It wasn't throwing me anything, so I don't really need to. I'm gonna just do it anyway, just to show you how to do it. So let's get this car out the garage, on the road, let's reset it, and then just do some test pulls. Maybe I'll do some rolling anti-lag for you guys. We have anti-lag. So, <laughs> see y'all once I finish cleaning up all this stuff. car in the sunlight level very dirty right now as you can see the wheels look brown they are gloss black there's one of the headlights looking fresh just got those lenses swapped to be done just looking extra clean now extra crisp it's just looking good so let's let's uh let's hop back in here look we're at max we're good 
so we want the car in auxiliary mode so you just hold it for a few seconds and you get this screen and then you want to do the same thing let's hold it down again and boom now it's resetting so now it's just going to be boom fresh it says 7000 obviously it's not 7000 so yeah that's how you do it now we're going to go do some anti-lag pulls for your enjoyment there's an overpass on the way to mexico and you best believe we are blowing it up this is about to be so chaotic this is about to be so chaotic <laughs> Almost to Mexico. Can't wait for Mexico. See you in Mexico. Hoodie mode's going on because we're about to do some hood rat shit. So, hoodie's going on. Camera battery died, so we're stuck on the GoPro for right now. I shifted early, I'm not gonna lie. I shifted early. VTEC! This is how you know it's been a while. I have shaky hands genetically, but it's not this bad. <laughs> That's how you know. Hopefully everybody gained something from this video. A little piece, little insight. Pretty basic piece of maintenance. Saves you about 40, 50 bucks, depending on where you go. Maybe even more if you go to like an actual dealership to get this done. I'll have the numbers somewhere. Maybe I'll put them like right there and there, but yeah. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still shaking from the DSC off any lag. I was hauling ass in Mexico. No, 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 I wasn't hauling ass. Something was going something speed and it was just, Traveling at the speed of light. Mm -mm 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 -mm.